So today I wanted to kind of update you on a little bit about what's been going on recently in my life. And anytime there's anytime there's events in my life, I'll put it that way. Um, I often, after getting through whatever emotional things are going on, I often try to think back to what I could have put out of that event to be able to help my own life, my own business, my own family. You know, kind of lessons, if you will. What kind of lesson was there for me to learn? Because I believe that God sends us through whatever we go through in life. I believe that it's always for a purpose. And I believe the only time that it's in vain is if we don't find the purpose. And now I'm not, I understand, like, when you go through tragedy, if you lose a spouse, a child, you know, yeah, there's something to learn in there. But in the midst of the tragedy, the grief, you can't, you can't comprehend that. It's only when you look back oftentimes that you can start to, and sometimes it's years later before you can really start to find out what it, what was some of the purpose? What did you go through? What did you learn? Um, something happened to me this past week. My grandmother, unfortunately, unexpectedly passed away. Um, and I was estranged from my grandparents for a lot of years, probably until I was 19 or 20 years old, um, just for a lot of different, you know, family reasons. And so the family drama, do you got any family drama? I got family drama. But so the thing that happened this weekend was when I went to, or this week, I went to her funeral because it's only Friday, but I went to her funeral and sitting at her funeral, my grandmother had, has a fascinating story and a fascinating life. She actually, um, it, she met my grandfather right after World War II. Um, she was actually in like during she was German. She lived in Germany. She remembers the bombings taking place. She's got a story that I had heard before they shared at the funeral about um, she used to dance. My uh, grandmother was a dancer, and I'll tell you more about that in a moment. And I'll tell you how this applies to our lives. But fascinating story. She was coming home from dance, and she was young. If I had to guess, I would say young teenager. She's looking for her mom, and she, she's, there's a bombing going on. The Allies are bombing, you know, and unfortunately it's her town that bombs are falling on. So she's running to her mom and she cannot find her. Um, and she's obviously horrified. She's obviously scared. She's trying to find her way to her house. There's debris everywhere. Bombs have been going off. There, you know, are people, body parts laying around. Um, this is her life. And she finally sees her mom and they run and embrace. Now, obviously this was something that had a major impact on her because many people in the family had heard this story at some point or another from her. So that's something that she carried with her. Um, fast forward a little bit uh, before the war, or rewind, I guess, a little bit before the war, she first got into dance and she danced for Germany and, and their high officials. She actually, um, she does not, she did not know who Hitler was or anything like that, but she actually performed for him, like he had saw one of her dances, she danced at the like the state opera house or whatever it was called at the time. She actually auditioned and um, got chosen to perform for basically the movies, and that was a big deal for a young girl at the time. It was a big deal, you know. This was her country. This was her life. I mean, imagine you know going for an audition and getting chosen to you know you're going to be used, and you know you're going to be the person they used for you know whatever in the movies actor or performer. However, days or weeks after that, some short period of time after that, the opera house that she performed at, the war started and it actually ended up getting bombed. Now think about that for a moment. What appeared to be the biggest opportunity in her young life at the time gets destroyed. Now how many times has an opportunity come your way and Either you didn't seize it, something came up and you made a decision not to do it out of fear. Now that wasn't her case. She couldn't help it. That opportunity was taken from her in that moment. Now she went on to live a pretty successful life in dance. She danced her entire life. She eventually met and married my grandfather. They moved over here. She grew up. She lived her, her entire life uh, until eight, 89 years old. She continued to teach dance right up until her late 70s and 80s. She was teaching some ballroom dance lessons. But she taught ballet and everything else for many, many, many years. That business is still going on to this day. But I want you to go back to that. So in her case, she couldn't help it. But have you ever had an opportunity presented to you, you didn't seize it? Or maybe you thought you did, and you look back and you thought, man, I could have done that better. 
I should have done that better. So for me, the lesson was recognize what opportunity is in front of you and seize it because some people have their opportunities taken away from them and they can't help it. Like my grandmother, that was a big opportunity for her and it was taken. Now she made the most of it and thankfully, but that would have never occurred. She would have never met my grandfather um, because after that, she ended up eventually the war occurred after the war was over. She toured for the USO and that's where she met my grandfather. So you think about that for a moment though. The biggest opportunity of your life is coming up. I think the problem is with us, most of the time, we don't recognize the opportunity that we're in. Or we don't recognize the opportunity that's in front of us. Oftentimes I'll ask people, have you ever made a decision that you ended up regretting? And sometimes I'll say, yeah. And then I'll say, or have you ever not done something but later wished that you had? Over 90% will say yes. See, that's crazy. You know, when I got started in business, it would have been so easy for me not to get started in business. You see, I was just—I was working full time as a nurse. I came home. I was on the internet surfing. I was looking for something I could do to make some extra money. And I easily could have looked at the information and thought, "Wow, that looks too good to be true. Is it possible? You know, is it a scam? Whatever." But it was that decision to take a step forward. By the way, I've had businesses failures, investment failures, the whole nine yards. I've had that happen. But it was a decision to move forward and to learn from my experience. You see, if I had never, it's very possible if my grandmother had never pursued dance in the first place. And her goal of pursuing dance was probably to get to that place where she could perform professionally in her country. She had that opportunity. She seized it and it was taken from her. If she would have known, if all she could have seen in life, if God would have given her a crystal ball and you would have said, you can see all the way to the point that you're going to get there, but then it's going to be taken away. If she knew that that opportunity would be taken away from her, if she knew that it would never be possible, would she have ever pursued dance? And you see, it was dance that led her to meet my grandfather, to have all of her kids, to live in a country that she beca that became her own, to be able to start businesses in this country, etc., etc. But if she never had, think about that, if she never, if she had never pursued dance and missed that opportunity, she pursued it, but she missed it. But if it wasn't ever for the pursuit, would she have ever had the chance to be able to build a business, to be able to build the legacy that she has today in the arts, the family? I mean, her many of her kids and grandkids took dance. The whole community, she started, you know, she brought ballet to that city. It's, it's you know, and jazz and everything else probably. So... That was an opportunity that was taken away from her. Have you ever had an opportunity taken away from you? Have you ever had an opportunity that you didn't seize? But see, the thing is, I think the scariest part is not the opportunities that are taken away from us or that we lose. I think it's the opportunities that we don't seize because we don't realize what's in front of us and we don't realize where God is directing us. You see, I believe that there's a reason God sent her in that area and it was to so she could have the impact that she ended up eventually having. See, he knows our plans ahead of us and I hate to get all spiritual, but that's how it is. People are always talking about in God's perfect timing, God's perfect timing. But what are you doing with the timing that God has given you? I'm telling you right now, now's the time. Seize the opportunity that's in front of you. That might be starting a new business. It might be growing your business. If you had a chance to expand your business, go for it. It might be stepping up a new level of diligence. Listen, the new year is coming. What are your goals for the next 12 months? What are your goals for the next 12 months? Seize the opportunity that's in front of you. This is your time. This is your year. Don't let nothing stop you. Don't let nothing stop you. Thank you. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. God bless.